Can you handle the heat? I can't. Give me anything spicier than a hot Cheeto, and I'm on the floor shaking and sobbing. Not ideal. So, for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be trading my taste buds with hot sauces that reach Scoville levels of up to a million so that I can take on the ultimate spice challenge and can crown myself the king of spice. Will I be able to pull through or will my tongue fall off? Okay, so according to Google, hot sauce doesn't make your tongue fall out of your mouth. So we should be in the clear but we still need a plan to ascend to Spice Royalty. Luckily, I have it written down very thoroughly right here. Step one, order the hot sauces. For this step, I knew that I wasn't a hot sauce expert. So the strategic genius that I am, I Googled hot sauce rankings by spice and ordered whatever was on the first page that I clicked on. Step two, the game plan. The way this is gonna work is that I'm gonna be giving each sauce three days before I move on to the next one and my first time trying each sauce is gonna be on a chicken wing, preferably cooked. Funny story about that, my dorm doesn't have a kitchen, so I had to ask for my friend's key card and show up at five in the morning so that I could have the communal kitchen all to myself so that I would be able to use the oven in peace. Another funny story, guess what wasn't working? Guess what was room temperature after preheating for half an hour? So I had to do some thinking and I ended up figuring out something that it's probably even better than baking the chicken. So I'm going to microwave them. Was I the slightest bit confident that microwaved chicken is fit for human consumption? No, but sacrifices had to be made. And if those sacrifices led me to an early toilet, then so be it. With a chicken ring looking pretty salmonella free, it was time to get serious. It's finally time to start my journey of. Clocking in at 450 Scovilles, our first sauce is Frank's Hot Red Sauce. So close. So this is gonna be the least spicy one. I think I can handle it. I'm gonna get that nice coat all over it. I guess. Okay, this is not a good start. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, it's just salty, to be honest. Tastes decent though. And so, my journey begins. I did get caught off guard by the salt in the hot sauce almost shriveling up my nostrils. But other than that, I think it's a pretty strong start. So strong, in fact, that I feel comfortable spending only one day on this sauce. The same one for the two that came after, Tabasco and the Cholula. It may have been smooth sailing up to this point, but we are now approaching spicier than a hot Cheeto territory with Dawson's original hot sauce. Because of my wonderful planning, it's gonna take a huge leap in spiciness. This is 80,000 Scovilles compared to the 3,000 of what I had yesterday. So, I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm gonna get my microwaved chicken wings. And I'm gonna microwave them again. Gordon Ramsay could never. One microwaved chicken wing and an annoying bottle of hot sauce later, I was finally ready to take on what could be my first real challenger. It doesn't smell like super strong, but I still know it's actually, it's going to be terrible. It's not that bad. My face feels a little bit hot, but other than that, like, it's like kind of not that bad. Little did I know, that's what the sauce wanted me to think. But it was a farce, and I fell for it. For the following three days, Dawson's hot sauce put up way more of a fight than I thought it would. There it is. But each time, I was able to pull through 
and go the full 10 minutes without water or milk. Which means that it's time for... This literally has a nuclear bomb on it. The bomb. 135,000 Scovilles. 50,000 more than what I just had. And we're getting closer and closer to the ultimate spice challenge. You know what time it is? It's wing time. Let's get a nice, even spread. This is the bomb. 135,000 Scovilles. not bad but I don't know if it's how much worse it's gonna get not much because I feel it like starting to like ah, my tongue he's being dramatic he's realizing it you see according to what I saw online this hot sauce was supposed to melt my face off. So I was sitting there wondering, why is my face not melted off? Skin is still on the bone. Melted skin bug, it's not even halfway full. I was waiting. But then I realized, I meant to order the bomb Beyond Insanity. What I got instead was the bomb Ghost Pepper. Yeah, huge difference, I know. But the one that I meant to order was around 136,000 Scovilles. The one that I got was 22,000, which means that spending 22 days in this hot sauce would be a waste of time. It would probably even set me back. So I had to move on to the next sauce. Mad Dog 357, as in 357,000 Scoville. That's so ominous. Look at how it's, look at how it's like, Why is it so smooth? Doesn't that look evil? Like it looks like evil if you could turn it into a sauce. Full send it. Full send it. Mad Dog was not playing fetch. Why did I say that? It was like hot sauce on steroids. And I had to deal with it for the next three days. But despite everything, I persevered. And you know what? In that struggle, I grew. And I got my steps in. And I learned things about myself. Like, that this table is my safe space. I guess. Eventually though, I got better at handling Mad Dog 357, and it seemed like my ascension to Spice Royalty was almost guaranteed. Except it wasn't. I still had a very difficult task ahead of me, because the bomb was not the only mistake I made. I meant to order the 1 million scoble version of this, but that was before I knew how weirdly specific hot sauce labels are. So I ended up getting the one that I've been using, which is not a million. And I'm not too sure if that's going to prepare me for the Ultimate Spice Challenge. But there is a famous saying that goes, Spice Fortune favors the Spice Bold. And I think that's really profound. So I think it's time for... How am I going to prove that I have what it takes to be the King of Spice? What could possibly be in that bag? Well, it's a pretty well-known hot sauce, eaten by some pretty well-known people and a lot of those people could not handle the heat <laughs> the last dab apollo pepper 2.5 million scovilles the internet's final boss of hot sauces and I'm gonna try and poker face 
a big old bite of it, of the chicken wing, for at least one minute. I can smell it from all the way over here. Like I'm holding it like, let me show you how far, apart, how far away it is. It's that far from me. And the stench is still invading my nostrils. And it's crusty too, in the inside. So I gave myself a healthy serving. You watch the show, you know that's a lot. You know that's a lot of sauce. And I bone apple tea. Three. Two. One. Okay, strong start. Let's see how long it lasts. To be honest, I'm kind of just waiting for it to really kick in, because that was a decent amount. I said with four seconds left on the clock, spoiler alert, it didn't get worse. Not even after the time ended, which doesn't make sense because this is supposed to be seven times spicier than anything I've had in the past two weeks. It was way too easy. That couldn't be it. So I had a lot of questions, like, that is scam? Not exactly. Remember when I said this about Mad Dog? It was like hot sauce on steroids. Yeah, that hot sauce was not natty. It was apparently made with pepper extract, which is basically the pain juice chemically removed from the rest of the pepper so that it's not attached to anything that can get in between you and the heat. It makes it so that it's infinitely spicier than a regular hot sauce with the same Scoville level. So when I thought that I was getting a 357,000 Scoville experience, I was actually getting the million billion Scoville experience instead, which I guess means that I won? Just like that? It's a bit unexpected, but don't look a gift horse in the mouth, I guess. Right? I could walk away and say that I'm the spicy king, as this bag would imply. I could say that, I could do that, but that would feel unearned. I think that I need to up it more. So I started thinking, or rather I stopped thinking, and I decided to make a concoction. Of all the spiciest hot sauces that I've had throughout this challenge. My masterpiece. And I had what I thought was a genius idea. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to dispute my title for the spicy king that I made up earlier in this video after I do this. I thought that I still had something to prove because that was too easy. So I disregarded the warnings that were so lovingly printed on the top sauce bottles and threw caution to the wind. I think tea. No reaction. No reaction. All right, ready, ready, set. So, try to talk to you guys, as I have no reaction to this. Um, currently, there's half a minute on the clock, and I'm feeling so good. I am feeling so, so good. Like, this is like the most leisurely thing ever and I don't feel like I just drank poison and I don't know I'm loving having this heavy sweat okay I did it it was a stupid thing to do but I did it I made it through the full minute without any reaction which I guess technically makes me indisputably 
the king of spice. Yeah. How about a post sauce reflection from Spice King Byron? <laughs> if you're judging me for eating a spoonful of hot sauce, don't worry, I am too. Just like Icarus, I flew too close to the pepper and my stomach decided to put me in my place. I think the lesson to be learned here is something along the lines of don't drink hot sauce straight from the bottle or you'll throw up. That's my insight for this video. Bye. Just kidding. I wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your support on my last video. I read every single one of your comments and they were all really nice and some of them were really helpful too, which is awesome. Um, and I really appreciated them and I really appreciate you guys. So thank you. <laughs> so bye. Bye. Thank you.